the network. What are some issues that you feel that you find when artists are running their campaigns? Like I, you run into a lot of artists who are asking questions and things like that, but I'm, I'm talking about not even tactical, but more so the habits, like bad habits and just philosophy that keeps artists from understanding this is how you're supposed to be thinking to actually run a campaign. And once you understand this way of thinking, then you can learn Facebook ads, you can learn YouTube ads and execute them, right? And not just watch a course, but actually execute it. Because I think that's one of the things that I find a lot of times people like read a course or watch a video, but then the execution part is, is still that other way you understand marketing that helps you actually go out there and be effective with it. What, what are, what's that issue that you find? Yeah, so I, I was just talking about this with someone today, but a big thing is like a lot of people get sold the course that they're supposed to take in a month period and they're supposed mm -hmm. to enable like an active strategy and then they're supposed to get this result. And that result is supposed to solve every existential woe that they have about their music career. And it never <laughs> works. Yeah. It's never yeah. going to happen. And yeah. so people are used to a marketing promise of, look, try this out for a month. If it doesn't make you super happy, then, you know, it didn't work and you get your money back or something like that. But they're used to like, try this. And if it doesn't work, it's a failed idea. Mm. And so move on to the next idea and try yeah. it for a month. It's like, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. no, no, All these things, most of these things work, but your time frames are off. Most of these things work. Like most, go pick a marketing course. It fucking works. <laughs> like <laughs> seriously, like, Go pay a thousand dollars for a marketing course out there for one of these marketing gurus. It works. Is it worth a thousand dollars? Probably not, but <laughs> it works. You know what I mean? Yeah. It works. And so it's usually not the course. It's usually not the strategy because the people who sold you the course are smart enough about marketing to have used marketing to sell you a course. Mm. So they know what they're talking about to a degree, at least to some degree, but they're they're making a marketing promise that's invalid which is i think the marketing promise should always be if you come take this course and you decide now is when i activate and i begin my life of trying my ass off at this thing this is when i start this is hard working me all of a sudden this is how i'm going to live the rest of my life and you dig in and you keep doing what they're telling you to do and you tweak it and you dial it to your situation until you get it right. And then you scale it and you realize what's wrong with that. And then you reinvent it and then you come back and you will be, you will succeed at that, but you'll never succeed at taking a month long course, pulling a rabbit out of a hat. And now all of your problems are solved. It's never going to work. So I think the marketing promise is <laughs> up. I think that's the people expect that, if a system doesn't work after they give it a solid two month shot that the system's wrong. It's like, no, time frame's wrong. You have three years of hard ass work before you're anywhere where you can kind of look down and be like, Oh shit, we're pretty high up now. You know? <laughs> no, man. I think you know that man, because I, I actually had a talk with, um, it was on the podcast. We started this podcast called Music Mavericks that we, well, we've been testing it. We haven't even officially, officially launched it yet. But one of the conversations was just the fact, inspired from an artist that I had spoken to, was the fact that not only did it take me a while to realize that, hey, most of these artists and just people in general, but artists specifically, are not running their campaigns long enough, right? To, but then also, a lot of people aren't even preparing long enough, like the amount of assets and, and things that can go into it to even have a full campaign. You don't even have enough content to have a full yeah. scale campaign or rollout. And it takes months sometimes for these people who don't already have a system that you like already have my graphic designer. Also. Like, so some of, you, some of you should be spending three, four months probably planning out a campaign. Right. I, I think so to go back to your original question, because the reason I kind of went through that diatribe is that like to explain to you that a campaign based approach is a one off thing and yes. campaigns to to in order for a campaign to contribute to your long term, like three, four, five year goal, it needs to have 
certain parameters. It needs to have one is a target audience of people who are united in their stage of awareness. So it's like, if you're targeting both people who love your music and also people who have never heard of you before, your campaign is already going to fail because you don't know where you, who, where your people are at that you're targeting and where you're trying to bring them. Right. Cause it, like you don't need to bring people who already know who you are to knowing who you are, mm-hmm. but you do need to do that for all of the people who don't know who you are. So you can't right. group them in together. So pick a target audience of people who are united by how much they know about you. They're completely cold or they've all heard one song or they're all your biggest fan and then determine how you're going to use this media to deliver them to the next state. So if it's like, they don't know who you are, let's take them to aware. If they're aware, let's take them to, they dig you. If they dig you, let's take them to, they maybe signed up for something or they bought something or they spent some time with you. If they've done that, let's take them to a higher lifetime value where they've spent more money with you. But every campaign should deliver people from one stage of awareness to the next and you use your media to do that and a lot of people don't realize that people people want when you ask someone to go for their campaign there isn't a wall there is no stopping point oh i mean it could you know it could you know give me some fans or maybe uh maybe i'll become a millionaire i don't know anywhere in between (laughs) Yeah. yeah 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 You need to have an objective outside of the objective that Facebook makes you select, basically. Like, what is For sure. what is your your key performance indicator? That's what it comes down to. Like, the, yeah. what what's that next level? Because you're you're right. I feel like so many people will start a campaign, and every single time I market a song, my goal is fans, <laughs> and that can't be your goal, right? Because who are you talking to in the first place, and it doesn't even make sense if someone who isn't even aware of me to become a fan. Is it possible? It's completely possible. But the artists that I have more ongoing relationships so they understand enough about their uh, just the marketing stack or artists who have just been doing so much. And when we finally have our conversation, you can just tell they understand. It'll be very specific on what they're asking for when they might come to me or when I'm just advising them and they're doing their own thing. It's like, oh yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, this is more of a PR thing or just build an additional more fluff side of awareness. And this right here is, I want to get people exposed to it in the first place and then I'll retarget them later down the road for this next thing. This thing is just about the merch it's not about my music this time, right? Like they, they understand and just they're, yeah. not, they're not hoping <laughs> for all of these things in, in one. So that's a, a great point. I'm glad you said that. Also, recurring content is huge because a lot of beginner artists are doing campaign after campaign trying to get new fans. And those new fans, once they become new fans, they're just waiting around for the next time that you have a single. And a lot of them don't wait around. <laughs> a lot of them forget that you exist. And you could stop that if you had something that they can expect. Like I, I use the example of like every week I open up HBO to watch my new show, Avenue five, right. It's going to come out every Saturday. I know that now HBO, let me know. So <laughs> I'm going to come back every Sunday and watch it because it's now on HBO go. And I'm going to do that till the season's over. All they had to do was make me aware that it was on Saturdays and now they've created, they've instantiated a behavioral pattern and they don't have to market to me further because I'm going to take the user action to access the content. So the second that someone becomes aware of you, do you have signage in place? Do you even have the content to say, come back to Instagram or come back to YouTube every Friday, every Wednesday, I'm Mm going to drop this. Do you have that in place? Because if not, probably more people are losing interest than you than otherwise would have to. So you got a leaky bucket. A leaky bust bucket. <laughs>